Hey guys, what's up? It's Marie Dahlia, and today I'm going to be going over this infamous reverse cat eye look. So if you guys are interested to see how I got that, then you want to keep watching, baby. I did put a little spin on it. I am more of a brown, neutral 90s girl. So I know a lot of people are using like the black eyeshadow and the black liner and just very bold and va va and all that, but I didn't do that. So if you guys are interested to see my twist and twerk to this look, then keep watching because that's exactly what you're gonna see, baby. One, two, three. Okay guys, so first things first, I'm sorry, I'm cracking up because my mom just sent me the funniest, um, anyway, whatever. Okay, so first things first, we're going to start off with a fresh face. I have no lashes, I don't have any eyebrows, you're seeing me in pure naked mole rat form, okay? Um, I should probably add some lip gloss on though because lips are a little dry. Now that my lip gloss is on and I don't look all naked. I'm going to go ahead and apply a moisturizer. I'm doing the same combo that I did before in my last video, the Clinique Moisture Surge Gel with the um, Clinique, what is this called? Moisturizing Lotion. Yes, it's actually called a lotion. I just found that mad weird, but whatever. Closer. All right, so to start off on the eyes, I don't know what's going on there. I am going in with a lip liner. I'm going in with a lip liner and it's uh, the NYX matte lip liner in the shade Mason. Um, yeah, just, you'll be fine. Just, it's gonna all come together. But you're basically just gonna line the lower lash line. Um, you are gonna bring it a little in towards the corner, the inner corner. But when you do, you're not going to do straight across. You're going to do slightly tilted in. Okay. Um, and then when you do the outer wing, you're basically just going to do a wing that starts at the from the lower lash lines as opposed to starting a wing from the top of your eye. If it didn't make sense what I just said, just watch. And hopefully it does in a few seconds. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Retractable Eyeliner in the shade Espresso. This is a much darker brown, um, so I'm not going to be as heavy-handed with this. I use the first eyeliner just as kind of like, you know, a base, if you will. And it's perfectly okay if you go a little overboard because we are going to clean up a lot of this look with concealer, so you'll be fine. <laughs> Next, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette, and I will be using the shades Puree, Summer Yum, and uh, yeah, I think just those two. But for starters, we're just going to start off with Puree, and we're going to use the Puree basically to go in the crease. We're just going to buff that out into the wing that we've created. Next, we're going to take the puree and the summer yum. Just going to go back and forth in between the two. And you're basically just going to use this to, to kind of like buff out what's left there from the liner. You don't want the liner to be too... Too much of a harsh line you know what i'm saying and then next i'm gonna just add some mascara to the lower lash as well as the top eyelid i'm going to be using the Too faced better than sex mascara before i add my lashes i'm gonna go ahead and just complete the rest of my face and then we will see the whole look kind of just pull itself together because i feel like right now this is just very very dramatic and with nothing else done i still look like a naked mole rat with eyes but nonetheless a naked mole rat Okay, so now that the eyes are done, we're going to be going in with the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I am still quite in love with this stuff. Still quite in love. Um, 
My face has been doing very weird dry things lately. So I honestly have not been wearing makeup as much. Um, I feel like my skin has been thanking me because of it. But the NARS Tinted Moisturizer is a great... I don't know, it's moisturizing for one. And it gives like very, very little coverage. So for now, it's been, it's been giving me all that I need as of late. So if you guys are in the market for a tinted moisturizer, the NARS one isn't, isn't bad. Very nice, very sheer. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with some concealer. The concealer that I'll be using is the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline in the shade Caramel. I think I need to go a shade lighter, but for now, this will do. Now to clean up underneath the eyes, we're actually going to be using a brush. So don't fret. Right now, I'm just trying to conceal the areas that I feel like require concealing. While the concealer dries down, because I like for the Instant Age Rewind Concealer to dry, I feel like it's it just provides like a lot better coverage when it's dry. I am now going to go in with the eyebrows. Nothing new. I believe I went over this as well in my last video. It's the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel that they have. Um, be light-handed. Not really going to get into much about it, but just know if you do use this, be light-handed. It's, it's it's a lot. Now that that's all blended, we're now going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Cream Kit. I'm going in with a little bit of ash brown. I feel like that's going to give this look a lot of dimension because we're kind of being a little dramatic. And going in with a light brown is not going to do much for the look. I'm not sure that I would actually appreciate it. So that's what I'm doing. But around like my... Like in my forehead area, I'm actually not going to be using ash brown. I'm going to be going in with the cinnamon shade. Have you guys been following the, the skeleton trend? I did it once or twice and I, I think I like it. It just basically gives you like the sucked in kind of thing. And not that I need that because I feel like my, my face is already like that. But, or at least the structure of my face is already like that. But, you know, I think I'm a fan. I look crazy right now, but... I like it once it's all blended out it actually looks pretty decent before I start actually blending it out I'm going to also be going in with a warm coral that is in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette as well just to add a little bit of flirtiness to the look Get into it, yo. now that that's all blended out this is a perfect time for you to go ahead and clean up the eyes I am going to be using the same concealer that I did um, use underneath my eyes and around my face and I'm going to be taking a very an angled brush and basically clean up anything that I feel like needs cleaning up you know does anybody else feel like their eyebrows no matter what they do they're just not gonna match that's me as of late they just don't match like I, I there's like they're cousins I don't know whatever I just roll with it though because I let they have a mind of their own and I just let them do what they do so it is what it is you know I might end up having to like remove a little bit of yeah I'm probably gonna take a q-tip and clean that up just the jet I don't know get into it yo now that I have everything cleaned up I'm now going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent powder just to set underneath the eyes. You know the drill. I'm not going to be using a lot of powder in this look just because my skin is going through a little bit of a frenzy as far as needing hydration. But by all means, you know, use that powder, girl. Use that powder to set that face if you need to. By all means, do that. Next, I'm going to be going in with the Too Faced Bronzer and the shade Sun Bunny. It has like a bit of a frost to it, which is why I chose this look because I feel like I need a little bit of dimension, you know? A little bit of awe, uh, you know, shock and awe, you know? Yeah. So it's so crazy. You know how like the trends go in and out, right? I feel like right now the matte look is very in, but still like very much skin is also in. And... I feel like I could be wrong, but I feel like 
highlighter and the dewy look is also coming back. I mean, I feel like we're bored. We're bored. The girls are bored. We're bored with this matte look. What else is new? What else is new? And really nothing is ever really new. We just end up recycling things. Does anybody notice that with trends? All we do is like recycle stuff over and over, like over and over. So you might not, I see all that to say, you might not like this bronzer because it is on the, you know, frosty side. And I know that's not like... It might not be everyone's thing, but for now, for this look, I feel like it needs to be the thing because the eyes are very much dramatic, giving very much, you know, vampire a bit, but you know what? Maybe it's your thing. Maybe it's your thing. Maybe you love it, okay? And who's going to stop you? Hmm? Who's gonna stop you? Who's gonna stop you? No one. Next, I'm going to take just a little bit more of my blush. I feel like the... Cream blush got a little washed out with the powder and I'm just going to dab that there. Like I said, my skin has been going through a little bit of a frenzy as far as being very dry lately. So I'm going in with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Alright guys, so I went ahead and added lashes and I feel like, mm, be like, what do you think? Yes, I'm digging the look I just feel like I need a lip and that's what we're going to end this off with. I am be going <laughs> I'm going to be going in with the same lip liner that we use on our eyes. Get into it, yeah. And then I'm going to be going in with the lip gloss by NYX as well in clear. Mm, how do we feel? All right guys, so this is the final look. It's giving very much drama to me, very much nightlife. Um what do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments, like, are we feeling this look? Do we want to see more of stuff like this? Or do we like more of the basic things? Let me know down below in the comments. Again, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And maybe even hit the like, you know, the thumbs up button if you are enjoying content like this so far. I do post videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if you guys are wanting to keep up with me, now you know. Until next time, peace.